guys! So today I've got this cool new product from Look Alloy. Here are the things that are needed for the dual mount monitor bracket. If you are using the grommet base installation, prepare the grommet base, bolt F, allen key 1, and the pole for the pole assembly. Place the base on the pole and use the three F bolts to hold them in place. Use the allen key 1 in tightening the bolts. For leverage, I suggest using the shorter end of the key to act as the head and the longer as the handle. You can observe that it will be a lot easier to turn the bolts around. Next, assemble the support assembly by inserting the spring washer, the washer key into the bolt eye, followed by the support pin. If you don't have a grommet hole on your desk yet, position the pole where you want it to be anywhere on your desk. Then drill the hole on where you position the pole, which must have a measurement of 10mm in diameter. Once you've got the hole, place the assembly above it and insert the support assembly underneath it and simply twist the bolt eye into the pole and tighten it further using the wrench. Usually, people don't have the time for the grommet assembly, so they can use the dash clamp installation instead. Prepare your pole, clamp brace, clamp B, bolt F, bolt G, and allen key 1. Attach the pole to the clamp brace C using the three pieces of bolt F and tighten using the allen key. Place the pole assembly on top of your desk depending on which side you wanted to put it. Then approximate the thickness of your desk by placing the clamp B in the assembly to the clamp brace C. If the clamp B is too low, chances are that the foundation of your bracket will be unstable or too loose. Once you've ensured that clamp B will be at its tightest, lock them in using the two bolt keys. Place it at the edge of your desk again and just turn the knob of clamp B to tighten it to the desk. Now grab your N1 clip and the swivel arm. First, insert the N1 clip over the pole and then insert the swivel arm. With the Allen key, you can use it to tighten the bolt at the back, which will tighten the swivel arm to the pole. Now it's time to attach the VESA plates to the monitor. If you have a flat monitor back, simply align the VESA plates on the top of the four holes on the monitor's back. Screw the VESA plates in place using the bolt cues or which bolt provided is most compatible to your monitor's back. A screwdriver is not provided so you need to have your own. Now what if you found the right screws but the VESA plate is still loose? Before you mount the VESA plates, use the M8 spacer washers to replicate a flat surface and put them above the four holes. Then place the VESA plate above it. Lock them in by screwing in the bolts. This will tighten the hold of it and you will see that it will be more stable than it was when it didn't have washers. Insert the vessel plate with the monitor assembly onto the heads of the swivel arm. Screw the nut H above it to lock it in place. We're done assembling the dual mount monitor bracket. In addition to this, this monitor bracket can hold up to two 32-inch monitors at the same time. It only comes in the color of matte black. And since it can rotate up to 360 degrees on each end, you can rotate your monitors to make it look portrait or landscape. You may encounter a time when your monitor is starting to fall down. All you need to do to fix this problem is by tightening the bolt of the swivel arm to strengthen its hold. To manage your wires, attach your N2 clips on each half of the half of the swivel arms. This will help make your setup look clean and organized. Ta-da! And now we've finished building our dual monitor bracket. 
If you have liked my video, hit the like button and click the subscribe button for more updates. If you are interested in buying our products, just click on the link on the description box below.